Welcome to a new summary for a new activity in biology of grade 9. This summary will talk about chapter 1, activity 4. The question in this activity is how is food transformed in the body and what does each food produce? Now, the first experiment done was that uh, they got a tube containing coagulated egg white and added to it pancreatic extract, of course, at 37 degrees Celsius in a water bath. And one hour later, we noticed that the coagulated egg white was um, transformed or it, it disappeared. This means that it was transformed. Now, if we want to look at the molecules in this uh, egg white, which is an albumin protein, we can see that the protein, which is a complex molecule, a complex chain, okay, was first broken into smaller or uh, shorter chains called peptides, and then these peptides are broken more into simplest molecules, which are amino acids, and these are the nutrients uh, in this case. Okay, so we can say that a protease found in the pancreatic extract decomposes the protein into shorter peptides. Okay, then it decomposes that peptides into nutrients called amino acids. And as we said earlier that digestion is a gradual process, so it uh, happens step by step. We can see that proteins are directly changed to amino acids. No, they are first changed to the peptides and then the peptides are changed to amino acids. Now, the second exercise is done on oil, on olive oil, where they put some oil with water and bile, and we'll talk about bile later. They shake them very well, and they added pancreatic extract to the tube in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius. When they were doing the experiment, they measured two values. First, the, the percentage of oil and the percentage of a substance called fatty acids. As we see this graph here, of course, they recorded the measured uh, factor in, the, in a graph. As we see here in the graph, we notice that the percentage of oil decreased from 100% at the beginning of the experiment till, uh, 100, till 0% after about uh, three hours. Okay, uh, at the same time, uh, the fatty acids, the percentage of fatty acids increased from 0% till 100% in the same period of time. Of course, this happened in the presence of what? In the presence of pancreatic extract, a substance called bile. Now, about bile, bile is a liquid secreted by the liver and it is stored, stored in the gallbladder, another very small gland under the liver. Okay, we're going to see what does bile do in this case. If we want to uh, interpret or understand more what happened, we can look at the document E. We see that these are the lipid molecules. When bile is added, we see that the lipid molecules are uh, taken apart from each other. And then the lipase, which is an enzyme specific for lipids, found in the pancreatic extract, will start acting on the lipid molecules to break them down into fatty acids and glycerol. So if we go back to the graph, we can say that the uh, oil or the lipids in the oil were uh, decomposed and transformed into what? Into fatty acids mainly and of course into glycerol. So talking about bile, we can say that bile emulsifies lipid molecules and here emulsifies, it's just like the action of soap on the fat found in the food when we are washing the dishes. The bile is just like a soap where it removes the uh, lipid molecules away from each other and it helps. this helps the lipase to start their action. This facilitates the action of lipase which will break down lipid molecules into fatty acids and glycerol. These are the nutrients. Okay, if we want to understand more what uh, bile do, for example, this is a lipid cluster. Notice how the lipid mo molecules are stuck to each other. Bile comes and emulsifies them, makes them apart. It doesn't break them down. It's not an enzyme. Okay, it just breaks them away from each other. And then the lipase comes and separates the molecules and decomposes them into fatty acid and glycerol. Now, the last experiment is done this time on maltose and uh, we added to it some intestinal juice and then they made 
um, the glucose test. These are strips, just like the pH strips, okay? They dip them inside the solution and they look at the color. Notice that we got a violet color, which means the presence of glucose. So, as we remember earlier, the first uh, or second activity in this chapter, we talked about starch, how it is broken down with the help of amylase and it produces maltose. Now, this is not the final product. As we see here, that maltose, in the presence of another enzyme called maltase, which is specific for maltose, will be broken down into glucose. This is the nutrient. This is the simplest molecule. Okay, so here also we see how digestion is gradual. It's done step by step. Starch cannot be directly changed into glucose. It first has to be transformed to maltose by amylase. Then maltose will be changed into glucose by maltase. Okay, so we can say that intestinal maltase facilitates or helps the decomposition of maltose into glucose, which is now what? The nutrient. Okay. Just to remember, starch is a polysaccharide, means a molecule of many sugars. Maltose is a disaccharide because, as we see here, it uh, contains two sugar molecules. And glucose is a monosaccharide, meaning each one of these is one molecule of sugar. So here, as a conclusion or a summary for this activity, we have uh, the three foods that we are talking about from the beginning of the chapter, starch, proteins, and lipids. They are uh, transformed by specific enzymes. Starch has a specific enzyme, which is amylase. Proteins are digested by proteases, such as, for example, pepsin, trypsin, etc. And lipids are digested by lipase with the help, of course, of uh, bile. Okay? Now, uh, the nutrients produced from the end product of the digestion of each food, starch will produce glucose, of course, after passing by maltose. Proteins will produce amino acids after passing by peptides. And finally, lipids will produce fatty acids and glycerol. So these are the nutrients that are produced after the complete digestion of the three foods uh, found here. Okay, thanks for your attention and goodbye.